Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today I would like to start this video with a question. When was the last time you used or even saw a smartphone with removable battery? I assume the answer is a long time ago because I can't remember the last time I have used one. Which got me wondering, what happened to removable battery smartphones? Why all flagship devices these days has non-removable battery even though a lot of users prefer the option of having the ability to swap out batteries? The only phones which still has removable batteries are budget phones and future phones which somewhat indicates that normal users actually prefer removable battery so they can swap out when they need and replace the battery with ease. Another factor which comes into play when we talk about the advantages and disadvantages of removable batteries is safety. Users actually feel more safe using a phone with removable battery and the option to swap out to a new one when they need is a really compelling feature for a normal user. Even with all these demands for removable battery smartphones, why major smartphone manufacturers aren't making them anymore? Let's find out. Let's start with the most obvious reason behind this shift, Apple. Apple is the biggest tech giant in the world and they can influence a lot of what is going on in the tech space. If you take a look at Apple's history of iPhones, not even the first iPhone has a removable battery. iPhones have always been and will be a monolithic device with built-in battery. Why are they doing it from the start? There are a couple of reasons. What I think is the main reason behind this way of designing is something called abstraction. In tech, abstraction means hiding certain details from the user in order to provide security and convenience. Apple have always been known for these things. That is why they are so successful as a company. Selling an iPhone as a single unit makes a lot of sense. The customers who are buying these phones don't have to worry about the battery inside it. But like anything, there is another reason as well. Profit. Let's consider an example. Imagine you have a phone which has a removable battery and for some reason you are having problems with the battery. What will you do? You go to a nearby mobile shop and buy a new battery, right? But consider this same situation and this time you cannot replace the battery by yourself because it is built in. If you want to get the problem fixed, you need to go to an official store and get it fixed, which will cost twice as much and what most people will do in this scenario is they will buy a new phone. This is a very shady business strategy that some companies do. By making everything built in and inaccessible to normal user, these companies control what you can and cannot do with your own phone and will make you buy a new one by setting the repair fee very close to half the price of a new phone. I don't hate Apple, I love their products, iPhones are truly incredible devices. But because of their decision of going with a built-in battery from the start influenced all the other manufacturers to do the same. I don't entirely believe other manufacturers copied Apple just because they thought that it will sell more devices. There are few other reasons as well. Number one is unibody design. It basically means that you cannot open up or remove the battery. Some of the pros of unibody design is that the internal parts of your phone will have more protection compared to other designs and your device will be somewhat water resistant and also allows manufacturers to reduce the footprint and thickness of a device which will in turn make the device feel more premium by using glass and metal and easy to handle. The second reason is battery design. When I say the term phone battery, this might be the image that comes to your mind. That is all gonna change in few years. By making the batteries built in onto the board of the phone, manufacturers have the freedom to change the design of the cell. They no longer have to follow the traditional design. They can design batteries in such a way that it takes full advantage of the empty spaces inside a phone's chassis, like on the 12-inch MacBook Pro. This is a great advantage of non-removable batteries. It gives freedom to manufacturer to make batteries that are more efficient, reliable and with a bigger capacity without making the phone bulky. Reason number three, power banks. The wide use and availability of power banks literally killed the removable battery design. It made removable batteries pointless. There is no reason to carry an extra battery when you can carry a power bank which can maybe charge your device twice. And these battery bank cases that are so popular nowadays made it so easy to carry a power bank with you wherever you go. And with all these merits, I don't think the removable battery is ever gonna come back. And I'm glad that we have moved on to a much better design. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys like this video. This is a new type of video uh, for me. So if you guys liked it, uh, then give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Goodbye.
could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin.